I'm taking this Adore hair color, lavender, and some regular L'Oreal white conditioner. I'm going to mix it together. I'm doing it because not to lighten it, but I'm going to have the color on the hair for hours. So I want it as like a deep conditioner because I don't know if the Adore itself would damage the hair. And this hair is cheap hair. I got it from DH Gate. I wanted some hair that was already gray. So I just made my wig and I here I'm mixing up the color. Mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. Boom. Adding some more conditioner. Because I need, uh, and the conditioner also makes it, the hair color go a long way as far as how much. So we're going to get it together. Just mixing. You want to make sure it's all mixed together good and not streaky. I'm adding more color because it was coming out too light. And since the hair is already gray, I wanted to make sure that this purple was going to show up and not just be on there and eventually fade. So I'm adding a lot of lavender. Eventually, you're going to see me go back and I'm just going to start adding the color directly to the hair because it's not going to be dark enough for me. Here I got my wig on my wig stand and I'm going to just apply the hair. I'm not a hairdresser, so this is not going to be neat. I'm applying it at the top because I want my hair to be lavender, baby blue, and then like a lime green. When I say green, I meant green. Y'all know what I meant. So I'm just applying it to the hair. I'm so sorry. I didn't know like the top of it was cut off. Once again, this is my first YouTube video. So just got the camera working with it. Figuring things out. I don't know what I was doing right here. I don't know how to cut that out. So we just going to keep on with it. All right? All right. Anywho. I'm taking this purple range. It's a darker purple. I put a little bit because this purple range have like a mixture of a dark blue and it will overpower this lavender so quick. I just want it to be a little bit darker because it wasn't really coming up the color I wanted to come up on the hair. So I'm just applying it at the top. Now when I'm applying it, sometimes I turn my breast sideways. And sometimes I just put it on straight. It's, that it doesn't really matter. I do it like that so it won't just be like, boom, color here. You can tell where the other color stop and start. So, right here I'm um, putting some more paper range and conditioner because I ran out. And some lavender. I was also in a rush because I did this. And I had like an hour before my nail appointment. So I was trying to get it together. Going back, you can see it's a little bit darker now. You can see it better on camera too. So I want it darker because it just looked like the lavender that was on there was just making it look gray. I'm just reapplying it, reapplying it. Y'all know what I meant. Don't talk about me, okay? I apologize for this camera because I had a jerry rig. It was sitting on top of some books. I broke my tripod, so. Here I'm just finger combing it through. 
so it won't be like straight you can see where the hair color stopped right now I'm looking for my brush so I can brush it through so I can blend really good so I want it to blend into the blue and a blue to blend into the green so you can't really see like dang who color her hair they need to redo that just brushing it I broke everything today my wig headstand I broke that that's why it's not acting right I'm brushing it I'm trying to show you adding some more purple I'm turning my little brush thingy sideways I don't care if the color get on the little wig head I also have plastic on my floor Just adding some more lavender. I'm doing this because I am getting ready to put on my blue. Here I'm going in between the hair. Making sure that color is where I can get it as much as possible. When I separate the hair, I'm putting color on the hair underneath and then on top. And I'm just doing this to mix it on through. Make sure it gets through. This hair had a couple of blonde spots because you can tell like they bleached it before. So it was like the dark roots, a little bit of blonde and then a gray. And I want to make sure all that blonde gets out the way. So and that's another reason why I part it through and color it this way. I didn't know it wasn't showing the top. Apologies again. But I'm just going through. Mixing it through, trying to make it look as much lavender as it can. Trying to make sure none of the gray and blonde is showing. Keep on going through. I'm just placing it at the top because that's the only place I want the lavender. Um, so that's why it's only going at the top. Yeah, see my camera keep moving because I kept hitting it. And I was trying not to be in the video because I'm like, I ain't dressed for this. So I'm still just going through trying to get that lavender on there. It looks like I'm going fast, but I really, I'm really not. Taking my brush again, brushing it through. This helps the colors to blend as well when you put the other colors on. So, like combing it through, it blends the colors. So right here, all I did was put in the, I'm trying to get the lavender off the brush, and then I'm going to go wash my brush so I can mix the baby blue. My bad, that's more lavender. Oh, here I'm putting the lavender right on top of the hair. I'm just taking it and putting the lavender on the brush and just putting it on the hair.
I don't know if you can tell, but it's going like a little bit more purple. I start doing this because some of the blind spots with the conditioner, it wasn't going anywhere. So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to just throw this lavender right on here. doesn't matter. I already got some conditioner on here, so it'll protect the hair. This could be very messy, so I would suggest putting plastic bags. I got a big garbage bag on the floor. But it is wooden floor, so it's no carpet. I wouldn't dare do this on carpet. So I'm just going over the hair, trying to make sure I got color everywhere I want the color to go. I think here I was rinsing my little brush out. I'm about to mix the blue and the conditioner. This is a baby blue color. I really like this color, it's so pretty. And some more conditioner. This color is really pigmented too. That lavender really wasn't. It looked like it was, but not really. But this blue and the lime green was really pigmented. I'm turning the brush sideways. That helps it blend better. I didn't just want to put it on straight. So, because that would have been too blotchy and choppy. And no. This helps it blend it better. So, kind of like the balayage effect. I think that's how you say it. It doesn't matter if the lavender and the blue touches each other because it's really better. That's what I wanted anyways to help blend it. I really like this blue. Disclaimer, the lavender, I wouldn't put as much conditioner with it as I did. Here, my camera cut off, so... Yeah, I'm trying to use my iPad. But I went ahead and put the lime green at the end. I'm trying to show you what it looked like. The hair is still wet. I let it sit for a good three, four hours. You see that girl nails match? Okay. Yeah, I had one and got my nails done and everything while this was sitting. The green I didn't let sit that long. The green I let sit for like maybe... 30 minutes. It looks darker because it's wet. So, this is my wig, how it looks. I'm trying to show y'all in the sunlight, natural light. Please like my video. I know I need to work on some stuff, but this is my first video, so, okay, please like it and subscribe. Thank you so much.